Hey, the Lord richly bless you, my friends, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. This is Brother Brian, your host. And today is still Saturday, January 14th, 2023. As you can probably hear, I have some, uh, I have a sound machine, got some rain, some thunder effects, just something a little different here and there. You know, the Lord is a creative God and we are his children. Whether you are a son or a daughter, you should be free to express your creativity that the Lord has instilled in you. Amen. All right. Well, I'm going to give you a wonderful word by the Lord through Amanda Grace. And this one is dated December 23rd, 2022. Now, before I get to that, since I was speaking about creativity unexpectedly there for a moment, um, may as well let you know that, hey, if you haven't seen, I do have some cool designs that the Lord has pretty much commissioned me to begin to create designs and set up kind of like a shop to uh, reflect the kingdom of God, the nature of God, things that will edify the people, be a, a reminder for you all, as well as maybe something that can reflect. This one obviously would not be something that would, would be for other people, you know, like a, like a word of encouragement to someone else. This one would be for oneself but there are lots of cool designs at my kingdom shop there is a link down in the description if you want to just kind of like do some window shopping and just kind of take a look feel free to do so lots of cool things and more to come in the future amen i'm happy to know that the lord has willed this and has already begun to blow and uh, upon it and show his favor and his grace amen so i am excited to see how that will go in the future and so pretty much that's all the announcement I have. <clears throat> Make sure you check out the prophetic word that I did earlier today as well. It's one by Veronica West. There's also something very, very special that if you are not on my Telegram channel, you're going to want to check that out because I mentioned something at the beginning in reference to a news article that's very short, but will explain what genius plan God was using DJT to do regarding the 15 rounds of of the uh, house speaker selection if you want to know what god was doing behind the scenes which you're not probably not going to hear on the news then make sure you go over and check that video and look at the article that i linked in the description amen all right let's get ready to pray and we're going to see what the lord has to say to us in this word Ooh, Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. You are magnificent, Lord. For your voice, Father, is as the thunder. And the Lord Jesus, his voice as the many waters. And the Holy Spirit as a whisper even. Father, we invite you into this moment, Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit flow mightily through your prophetic words through your servant for you father instructed your son jesus and he speaks about this in john 14 15 and 16 saying that the holy spirit would bring back up to remembrance all the words he has spoken to us not only to his apostles but to us for generations afterwards and you also said through jesus That the Holy Spirit will show us things to come. These are things that are not in the scripture, but that align with scripture. This is the ongoing spirit of revelation, spirit of prophecy, and it is a role of the Holy Spirit. So Father, please help your people who think that revelation is over, who think that the, the Bible is all there is, Please, Father, open up their hearts and their eyes to see spiritually and to not limit you to only 66 books, when in reality you are far greater and cannot be contained in only 66 books. And yet it is our foundation, Lord, and we thank you for that foundation, enough for salvation and for instruction for godly living but surely not all there is to you and we give you the praise and the glory father 
thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the, the strength you give us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. <clears throat> All right. Word from the Lord, December 23rd, 2022. This is what Amanda writes. When I am in prayer, I like to ask the Lord how he is doing. And this is what he said. Oh, my daughter, thank you for asking. So few people ask how I am doing. There is great turmoil and restlessness in the earth, and I am getting ready to move in a mighty way for my name's sake, and, that's, and that souls may be saved. For things shall be divided in this hour, both good and bad. The dividing line is coming to the forefront. Those who serve the kingdom of darkness in this hour have their chants and rants and fastings for division in this hour, for more darkness to fall upon the nation for the persecution of my people. However, it shall come to naught after the first quarter of the new year. Whoa. <clears throat> See, that gives, a, uh, gives us a little bit of a timeline. Now, remember, the Lord doesn't have to give dates. He doesn't have to tell us anything. He is God. So let's not be immature Christians, as there are plenty out there who are complaining about dates. Seriously, get, get over it and just leave it in God's hands. Because obviously, if you're getting all ruffled up and just pointing fingers and criticizing and judging, the problem isn't with the people you're pointing at. The problem isn't with God. The problem is with you. You're not letting God have control. You are determined to have control, which is why you're all worked up. Now, this is not a, a judgmental comment. This is a comment spoken in boldness, but it is the truth. And the truth, if you are willing to receive it, Rome, John chapter 8, if you are willing to receive it and embrace it from the Lord and accept correction from Him, no matter how it comes, it will make you free. Amen? Those who are mature are at rest. They have learned, and it is a process, so it's not an insult. Don't feel bad if, you're, if you feel like you're not mature. It is a process. God looks at your heart. What is the intent? What is the motive? Is it pure? Or are you just trying to be right? Instead of caring about what is right, are you trying to be right? That is arrogance. That is pride. Satan, when he was Lucifer, got kicked out of heaven for that. So get rid of it. Get rid of it. Amen? Hallelujah. Whew. So the Lord is saying here, the persecution of my people, he says, it shall come to naught. That means it shall not produce results after the first quarter of the new year. Okay, so that would be after March, right? That's the third, pretty much the third uh, month. So that would be the first quarter of this year, 2023. Wow. There shall be an unexpected turn, change, and announcements. Whoa, something exciting to get uh, some news to get excited about. And you know what? A true believer and lover of the Lord always looks at the bright side. It doesn't mean they ignore the dark side. It doesn't mean they ignore what the devil's doing. It doesn't mean that they pretend like it's not happening and they're just, you know, frolicking through the tulips and everything is, you know, candy, sunshine, rainbows and everything. While we focus, as a remnant, on the good that God is doing, we are aware of the darkness and what it is doing, and we are aware of it so that we can counter it through prayers, through decrees, through declarations, through casting it down, through rejecting it, through casting down imaginations, through rebuking it, through binding it, casting it out into the pit, into the abyss, through intercession, sometimes just being aware so that you can avoid the traps that the enemy, that the Lord is showing you that the enemy is planning and plotting. So we are aware, but we don't gravitate to it. 
we don't magnify it we don't talk about all that's going wrong because that then you're giving free publicity free prophetic words from the devil you're giving free access to the enemy to use your mouth to further his agenda because you are proclaiming by speaking non-stop negativity about what the darkness is doing and how this person is doing that and this leader is doing that and all oh, this and oh we gotta go and rapture okay let's grow up grow up church amen all right well if you're not bothered by the words this is good if you're bothered don't bother you know saying brian you're judging this and that no as the holy spirit leads me i'm speaking if it bothers you the problem is with you because if there if you weren't affected by it if you're good with god you're not bothered by the correction because it doesn't apply so think about it before you expose yourself because there's no need for that all right the lord wants his people to be strong to be warriors and not warriors because what you focus on you will connect with is that's not just some you know spooky saying and all oh, that's like false belief and no there are realities for example the law of sowing and reaping people in the world will say or maybe new age or whatever they'll say what comes around goes around or they'll say karma this karma that they want to give credit to stuff that's not true that's their business but the root of it it all stems from the law of god which is you reap what you sow okay the devil's the one who takes what already exists because he can't create something that doesn't exist because he's not god all right he's a punk copycat and so he takes what already exists and he twists it and he says what comes around goes around um no the lord says you reap what you sow and guess what this is for believers and non-believers regardless so when I say you will eventually connect with that which you're focusing on, there is biblical and spiritual truth to that. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. For those who want a scripture, the Holy Spirit has given me the scripture. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Some translations say, as a man thinks in his heart, that means what you're focusing on, you will become, which means you connect with it. All right. <clears throat> so there is that. Hallelujah. All right. So this is why we focus on what God is doing. And that strengthens us because it aligns us with the truth and with the light and the goodness of God and not the devil. All right. Wow, so we have some great things to look forward to. After the first quarter of the new year, there shall be an unexpected, unexpected turn, change, and announcements. Whoa. This shall be the second sifting of leadership companies, the church, and the second sifting. A sign in the heavens around the time of Christmas. <clears throat> now that's interesting because this word was um is dated december 23rd okay 2022 so the lord does not say here what year he's talking about he just said a sign in the heavens around the time of christmas now could that have been in 2022 possibly if so well, we guess we got a research to find out the lord could also be speaking of christmas 2023 again he didn't give a date so let's not be one of those people who say why didn't this prophet give a date if you when you say things like that you are exposing the fact that you don't believe god is speaking through the prophet you are thinking in the natural in the carnal mind and you're saying why didn't they say it well then you don't understand how prophecy works a prophet does not speak a true prophet does not speak what they want to speak they speak what they hear they speak what they see 
They speak what they sense in the spirit. Right? So, let's understand that God is the source of divinely giving his inspiration to and through his true vessels. Amen? And we cannot tell God, why didn't you give a date? Because who are we, the clay, to tell the potter? Why did you make me this way? Why are you doing this? And why are you not doing that? With a, with a bad intent. Amen? It's okay to ask questions if you're just seeking understanding. The Lord says, ask and you shall find. Sorry, he says, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open to you. All right. So, yes, the Lord doesn't contradict himself. There is just spiritual truths that need to be understood and unwrapped and mysteries that need to be unraveled in order to have spiritual understanding, which cannot um, be discovered through the carnal mind. All right. Black Lives Matter is secretly funding abortion clinics in predominantly black neighborhoods. This is what God is saying. There is a thread all the way back to Margaret Stanger. It says Stanger. I don't know if it's Sanger or Stanger. And they are tugging on it. Now the Lord is saying, okay, Ukraine, uh, the, um, how can I say, oh, the alphabet letter group people, I'll say it like that. No offense, I'm just trying to make sure not to touch uh, certain keywords. Uh, BL. M, the Dem Party, green energy sector, a thread runs through it, says God, and a back channel to reach to funnel and move what is necessary to keep all afloat. There will be a capital punishment in the house called White for mocking the Lord and his order, for going the way of Cain, for going the way of Sodom, and the house called White has brought upon them the fruits of their corrupt sowings, and those fruits filled with worms have come to bud. By spring, they shall come to the fullness whoa, of the bitterness and rottenness that the harvest is bringing forth. There shall be a stench, a stench throughout the house called white. This shall be assigned to the nation of the Paria or Paria, P-A-R-I-A. -A. It shall come, it shall become rather, <clears throat> those in the highest offices, their name shall be a byword and a stench as the fullness of their time comes. Whoa. <clears throat> now, part of the prophetic words that the Lord had given me was saying that this year would be the year, 2023, that one, one shall see the fruit of their labor. <clears throat> now, that is good if you've been sowing good into the kingdom. Your obedience, your faith, even sowing um, money, finances, to further the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ into ministries that are anointed and doing the work of God. Okay, but the, that same word of the seeing the fruit of your labor also applies to those who've done evil. They're about to see and look at God now confirming it through someone as wonderful and seasoned as Amanda Grace. Praise the Lord. For I, the Lord, have allowed this for a time <clears throat> and David's must not become Saul's in this hour. For if you do, you shall lose your office and shame shall cover you. Your accomplishments shall be a vapor. You put your eyes on opponents, says the Lord. You put your eyes on your accomplishments, says the Lord. And that shall turn you the wrong way. For where, where does your help come from? Your help comes from the Lord, not man, not lawyers, not secular counselors, not slithering snakes promising to protect you. Your help comes from the Lord. A full surrender is required. No more just dipping your foot in, says the Lord. No more. A full surrender is required in this hour for you to go forward as landmines have been placed at every turn and as Saul attempted to bury David. So the same is occurring. However, says the Lord. You must not become a Saul, for you will not go forward, and there shall not, sorry, and there shall be another delay for a time. <clears throat> for I, the Lord, can lift you up above the fray, 
the smears, the jeers, and the jabs. Interesting word in there. For decisions years ago have a part to play in what is in what we see coming to full term now. Do not let it come to term and there be no strength left to birth it forth because you trusted in man and fleshly counsel. For I, the Lord, can navigate you through, but it requires a lowering of pride, a ceasing to the puffing out of the chest. You know, pride, symbolic of... Unfortunately, a lot of men are like that. I'm, I'm grateful to the Lord that I'm not. A lot of men are very, you know, very, very proud and whatnot, and they, you know, put out their chest like this. Um, yeah, anyway, I won't comment on that. Uh, I'll just say that I hate, I hate pride and arrogance. Not only when the enemy tries to have it creep up in me, because yeah, he, he sends me those, those um, suggestions that were not, I just don't take them. I cast them down. I hate pride. And in, in person, when I, whenever I meet someone who, who, and I can sense it, it's, I mean, it's plain as day, uh, when they're very proud and arrogant, to be honest, I just want to get away. I would just want, I want to get away from such people. It's not that I don't love them. It's not that I don't care. It's just that I cannot stand being around people who are like that because we are nothing without God, whether they know God or not. Now, if they act like that and they, they're a Christian or whatnot, that's even more reason why I want to get away because I don't do fake. I hate it. Amen. The Lord hates hypocrisy. And so this is why I hate it as well. And I do not like being in situations where uh, if I make a wrong choice, where it would make me a hypocrite. Okay, so I, I do my absolute best to avoid that because I myself must keep myself clean for the Lord. Amen. All right. <clears throat> a ceasing to the puffing out of the chest, a quieting of the boastfulness and full attention on my plan, for it shall not be done the same way. This time, says the Lord, there is a teetering in the nation and leadership who fear me, the Lord God who sits on the highest throne can bring the people back even more to their creator. Do not put your hope in a man, for you shall <coughs> be disappointed, says the Lord. Put your hope in me, the Lord your God, and my plans and purposes for this nation. For had it not been for a faithful remnant, this nation would have been lost. Wow. Wow. <coughs> So be strengthened. Those of you who are remnant, like myself, we, we have people come against us and speak, <coughs> call us false this and false that. They call, you know, they persecute us and they attack us and they say all kinds of stuff. At this point, I just laugh. I laugh because when you know you're right with God, you don't really care what any, anyone else thinks. Um, it's sad at times and it, it's, uh, it's sad that people can't see it. But when the time comes, Praise the Lord. They, the day is coming when those who mocked us and whatnot will see. And perhaps the Lord will even make it clear, as he's saying here, that it is because of the remnant, you and I, who have chosen to stand and only have been able to stand by the grace of God, not in and of our own strength, but because we decided to yield to the Lord. Because what you yield to, you empower who you yield to, God or Satan, you give power over your life. <coughs> That's very interesting. Earlier today, that phrase came to me and I was like, whoa, that is so deep. So let me say that again. Think about it as I'm saying it. What you yield to, you empower in your life. If you yield to a specific sin, you're giving that sin power over you because you choose to yield to it. But if you yield to God, to the Holy Spirit, you give God the access to his, have his power reflected in you. And so yielding, surrendering is so critical, so crucially important if i can say it that way amen let me read that last sentence again for had it not been for a faithful remnant this nation would have been lost wow 
There are many twists and turns coming, says the Lord. All the eggs are about to fall out of one basket. I am God, there is no other. Serve me well in this hour, says the Lord. Serve me well, and I shall elevate you, for there is leadership being counseled in the wrong direction, and there must be a U-turn to bring them back. The kings and rulers who had the most successful terms were, were, uh, were those who walked in the ways of the Lord, who did not go after the Baals, nor allow the counselors of Baal to counsel them on national matters. Walk in all my ways, for I, the Lord, can redeem them. I can redeem those from the pit. For they are being strategically lowered, that they are being strategically lowered into. If you fight in your own strength, you shall fall very short. Fight the good fight with faith and yielding to the Lord, for you are not infallible. And the covering once there has begun to falter because of what is going on with inner counsel and decisions being made. No, it is I, the Lord your God, speaking to you this day. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I believe that's Hebrews 13, 7, by the way. And I will redeem. I am the kinsman redeemer. Wow. A Ruth shall be brought forth from high up who served the interest of the Baals and the Moloch's. And there shall be a coming forth as the surrender to Christ. Oof, she shall be made known. I, the Lord, am moving during this time. Miracles in the darkness. Brighter lights in the darkness. Beacons of hope shall break forth as their plans for total destruction shall continually fall short until the appointed time. However, there shall be a great squeeze in the coming year of their interests, a squeeze and constricting like they have never felt, for the serpents shall turn on them, constrict them, and bite them for the wickedness they have sown. The serpent on the pole, the secrets of such shall come forth in the coming year, for it runs way deeper than anyone thinks, says the Lord. Be steadfast, my children. Bless those during this time. Praise me for what I am going to do, for the plan shall once again be unexpected as it unfolds. For I, the Lord, see the end from the beginning. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and will have my way in this season, as appointed times are fast approaching. Know I love you, my know that I love you, my children. Come deeper with me. In this time, to get off those feeding you milk and sour milk and get into the meat and the deeper matters and understanding the ways of the Lord your God Elohim. Come deeper. Leave the milk for it is past the time of growth and milk shall stunt it at this point. Come deeper to the meat as you chew on it. You shall receive revelation of things right before you that you have never seen before. For I am opening the eyes and the mind and the heart to receive such to be spoken for my glory and to grow my children and bring them into the position that I have, that some have fallen short because they have buried their talents and stayed wandering on the surface. Enough, says the Lord, enough time to take hold of the meat. Deeper excavations shall bring forth discoveries in places they never thought they would find such but they shall in, they shall including a crown that shall solidify a biblical kingship and be spoken of around the world whoa awesome know this day you serve a mighty god counselor nothing is too difficult for me mm, that's jeremiah 32 greater is he in you than he who is spewing such fear and blasphemies in the world for they shall be snuffed and quelled for their role in welcoming in the spirit of Sodom into the nation. That spirit is in and above the house called white and judgment shall be executed against it and its servants. For the time of allotment is coming to a close and an admin administration shall be left in shambles and brokenness as an unexpected exit occurs in a way many do not see coming. However, the people shout for a king. I am the King of kings and the Lord of lords. 
Do not seek to crown an earthly king as the answer to your problems. For men are mere tools, and instruments in my hands seek my face, not my hand. And the faithful who serve shall rise up in the church stronger than they ever have. Formidable opponent indeed, for I am strengthening the church who knows who they are and are ready to stand. They shall be exponentially and supernaturally strengthened in this hour. Whoa. And a double portion and double mantles shall be given unto them to speak my words with such conviction that the fear of the Lord falls upon the people, which is the beginning of wisdom. Wow. You shall walk in double mantles and double portions for this time. Oh, Lord, I receive that in Jesus' name. Saints, receive it. Say it out loud. Tell the Lord I receive it in Jesus' name. Uh, double mantles and double portions for this time to speak my words with more accuracy than you ever have. Oh, hallelujah. And those who are willing to listen to what I have. Oh, my. Thank you, Lord. To what I have to say, no matter what nation or people I speak of, they shall be given the deeper revelations and the deeper words to speak to the people. For they will not tickle the ears of the people. They will not give them false hope. For there is much on. There is much of that going around to further the, agen the agendas they are building. However, that false hope shall be deflated like a balloon, says the Lord. For the people need equipping. To stand on, not on false hope and not on man-made idols that they think is their salvation. <laughs> that deception shall be dealt with in this hour, says the Lord. Those shall be elevated who do not build up the people on fallacy and fables and, and maybes. But in the Lord their God, David strengthened himself in the Lord. Not in man when everything was taken from him and his leadership threatened. He strengthened himself in the Lord. Remember this, my children, and follow suit, and do the same, and you shall have great conquests and victories for the Lord over the next two years. Okay, so she's speaking from 2022, so that, that means she's speaking into 2023, or the Lord is, 2024. Okay, get ready, set your feet upon the solid rock, and set your face like flint, and go ye in the ways in which I, the Lord, tell you to go. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, who sits at my right hand. Amen and amen. Whew, what a word. I didn't think it was going to be that long, but wow, hallelujah. I think the pace was pretty good as uh, that I read it. <coughs> Hopefully. Amen. Wow, well, I'm going to leave you with that because that was a mouthful. Ponder it hear what the lord is saying ensure that what you what you are hearing that you are reflecting in your own heart to make sure you are right amen because the spirit of god speaks to us through the words and through teaching that comes forth in order to help us get into alignment but he will not force us we have to be willing to see the error in our ways if we are in error and yield to the holy spirit amen wow well, God bless you. If you've never subscribed, I would appreciate you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, maybe hit, hit the thumbs up as well. And as always, you can look in the description and join my Telegram channel if you'd like more, um, a more another way to contact with me and kind of get together with a lot of believers who are uh, who love the prophetic and the prophet and support one another. We have a lot of prayer requests happening there and answers to prayers like one after the other and it is amazing <coughs> so that is that um as well so god bless you i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you're gonna enjoy the weekend and if you have monday off for martin luther king day well praise god that you have the day off i know i do so i plan to enjoy it amen god bless you love you all don't forget to check out the cool merch because you may very well find something that you really like amen god bless <laughs>